What's up guys, been wanting to bring this video, but it's been terrible weather, but it doesn't matter if you guys are watching this video, you guys probably have an F-150, more than likely a single cab, but even if you have a crew cab, all of these modifications are gonna apply to you as well. So let's go ahead and get straight into all right. it. Mod number one to avoid. Whenever you're gonna go ahead and pick up one of these 14th gen F-150s, do not put LED bulbs in the halogen housing. The halogen light just looks better the way it is. I feel like it's cringy. You're, we're not Silverado people. We're not 2000s, 1997s uh, putting LED bulbs. Uh, just go ahead and save your money. And whenever you can, uh, either get the VLAN style headlights, get the OEM headlights. These are the Euros, um, the Raptor Euros. I know it's not going to be in within everybody's budget, but if you can avoid it at all costs, just don't touch the headlights. Don't put the LED bulbs. Just keep it the way it is. Now, if this is your first truck, this is mostly going to be for a Canon event for the first time uh, car owners, truck owners. If you're in high school or anything, do not plasti dip. Just leave it alone. Do not plasti dip this. Do not plasti dip this. Do not plasti dip the roof. You will regret it. Do not do that. Avoid it at all costs. Just don't do it. This next modification might surprise you guys, it might not, but cold air intakes. Don't waste your money on it. It's not gonna improve your efficiency in gas. It makes a little whoosh noise whenever you step on the gas and it's like 300 to $500. Just don't do it, leave the stock. Closed air air boxes most of the times are gonna be better to keep IETs down. If you go ahead and put on uh, aftermarket cold air intake, that's gonna be open box. You're gonna see your IETs climb so fast, especially at a stop sign or at a red light. So just don't do it, leave it alone. The only time you should be putting cold air intakes, and I have two of them right here in this car, is when you're actually going full bolt-on uh, NA, and that's something that you guys are wanting to pursue, then go ahead and do that. And Okay, and the last worst modification you could do to your truck is wheels. But wait, let me finish. The wheels that everyone has, don't get the Forge Star X22s that... <laughs> 50,000 plus people World offers a bunch of wheels. Billet Specialties came out with 22 inch and 20 inch wheels for these trucks as well. Uh, there's also a lot of different brands. So go ahead and try to be unique basically. So choose a different wheel, don't go with Forge Star X22s. Or they're overplayed, too many people have them already. Choose a different wheel. Me personally, I went with the Weld S77s with the polished look. Um, and the reason I went with these wheels is because they're the same wheels that I have in my twin turbo car. If you guys are interested in seeing these builds, I do track them. I take them to the drag strip often and I wanted to match the vehicles. So that's why I got the S77. Now getting into the best mods for your buck, best bang for your buck. There we go. Um, is going to be the grill. Swapping out the OEM grill to something different. This one's a limited style grill. Um, I got it off eBay. It's the only part that's off eBay. So don't flame me. Everything else is OEM or of a nice brand. But I didn't want to spend like $1,000 on a grill. So I went ahead and picked this up for like $350. Uh, it doesn't break the bank. And it changes your front end drastically. So I feel like that's one of the best modifications you can do. There's the STX grill. There's a limited grill. The Platinum. The King Ranch. You decided what you like. Swapping out the OEM grill or painting it, honestly, um, that's another option, is one of the best modifications for these trucks. Some people call them modifications, some people don't, but tinting your windows, don't be a fishbowl. Go as dark as you can legally uh, or a little bit darker if you're willing to risk it. Uh, it just gives it such a sporty look on the truck itself and there's no going wrong with that. One of the third modification that I'm going to recommend is the stubby antenna. Get rid of the freakishly tall uh stubby or not like freakishly tall oem antenna this this costs like 20 25 dollars doesn't hurt the bank uh just don't go to whataburger in and out once a week and, and you can go ahead and get that so now for the fourth modification i actually don't have it and i should be getting here pretty soon but it actually replaces this and it's the ford performance door sills it costs like 80 90 dollars you can get it off the website and whenever you or a passenger is riding in the truck the first thing that you guys are going to be noticing is those door sills so makes a big difference yeah i should probably clean that up but yeah that's a good modification to have and it doesn't break the bank now moving on to the final modification that doesn't break the bank is just getting rid of the factory rake do a reverse a reverse drop or a reverse level or just level out the front try to get rid of the rake i'm actually going to be doing that because you guys can see the front is actually lower um i need to put it on the lift and adjust the right height on that um so i could sit perfectly high the reason i got it wrong was tire height is a little bit different so um 
But yeah, get rid get rid of that factory rake. It costs like a hundred to two hundred dollars with an alignment to go ahead and level the truck and just get rid of that ugly factory rake. Picture included. Now getting into the best modifications you can do, OEM Tremor LED tail lights. Now for my favorite modification that I've done to this vehicle, and I feel like it's one of the best modifications that you can do if you have a 5.0 liter Coyote. I hope you do if you have a 3.5 EcoBoost. Not shaming you, it's a good platform, but whenever you add boost and make it equal to an EcoBoost, these things are insane. It's such a fun daily driver to have. This is a two wheel drive and I have a regular street tire. I'm on 93, just Whipple tune and it is such a fun truck to drive above 60 miles per hour doesn't spin just hooks and books and uh coming from a car guy that has a twin turbo 200 horsepower car um i can tell you it, it's fun it's not crazy you're not going to be the fastest thing on the street uh don't don't try go betting money on people but it's just a fun nice daily um i like it if you want to build it there is going to be 85 tunes um fuel systems injectors headers free flowing exhaust right everything else that you could do just came more power uh which we're occasionally going to do in this channel so if you guys do like the truck you guys like the build go ahead and subscribe it really supports the channel and gives me the confidence confidence and motivation to just keep going so now when it comes to boosting these 14 gen f-150s there's going to be a couple different options i believe there's a paxton there's a pro charger there's a whipple and there's a roush it all depends on your goals i would say just minimize the roush from that equation just because of heat soak it's not the highest efficient blower that's on the market i feel like the other three you really can't go wrong um whipple i i just want the positive displacement um just because it really moves out these trucks these things are heavy paxton's pro charges it has a little bit of lag and uh I, i've had one before so i would just want to try something different i've already had a century supercharger so positive displacement it is Another best modification that you can do for this, this is number three, four, or five, I don't know. But regardless, it is gonna be swapping out this eight inch screen for the 12 inch that comes on the XLT highs. And <clears throat> no, I believe it's it comes on all XLT crew cabs. It comes on the Lariats, on the Platinums, on the Limiteds. Um, but yeah, it looks so much better. It gives you such a better view. Most of Going ahead and doing that and putting a center console I'm kind of debating. I don't know if I want to do the center console with the floor shifter or without the floor shifter. I would really like that space just to put my phone and my keys and other stuff. Um, kind of still debating on that. Another thing to go with it for the interior, the best modifications that go along very nicely is that you don't have to swap out your seats. You can just get seat covers um, from the limited. You can get them off the lightning. You can get them off the limited lightning which are super cool and they kind of have like an avalanche gray color so those are probably going to be the ones that i do um you can take lariat takeoffs you can do raptor r just like cletus mcfarland is going to do on his truck but yeah interior swap i feel like that's going to be really cool you can do the door panels you can actually even do the dash as well um one of my buddies mike actually did that he has like a baby king ranch completely done uh from the door sills to even the tweeters or like this bar right here is off of a king ranch and everything so you can really do a lot of modifications on this truck for being a 2023 um i originally had a 2021 and sold it just because there wasn't many things you could do but now there is so that's why i'm back in one and for the last modification that you could do to these trucks to make them look killer is going to be some unique wheels. I already took, like spoke about it uh, whenever I said just choosing the, whenever people choose the same wheels that people already have all over the internet. Be unique, find a wheel. I'll go ahead and drop like a couple of my uh, like favorite wheels that I would have gone with or I was deciding between uh, whenever I chose these wheels for my truck. And uh, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed the videos. If you guys have any questions, I'm going to try to put all the links to all the products that I went ahead and showed in this video. So you guys can just go ahead and click the links down below. Um, it doesn't support me in any way, but subscribing, commenting, and liking does. So if you guys like the video and learn something new or uh, just like the truck or the car, 